C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. 12 years of hard work, Spring.at the east side of Dragon Capital, the martial god altar, the crown prince had led countless nobles in Longjing to worship here, the Great Liang was established by martial arts. The entire country worshipped the martial god. The two sacrifices were made in spring and winter without a break. Young Duke, don't stare blankly. Hurry up and kneel down. An anxious urging sound caused Lu Yu to wake up from his ancient slumber. Lu Yu opened his eyes and surveyed his surroundings. He saw himself standing under a blue sky. The towering martial god statue was like a huge monster, standing in front of him. Here. What is it? Lu Yu finally spoke with some hesitation that he was asking out of instinct, but it actually caused a lot of laughter. The fool from the house of the Marquis of Yongping is indeed famous for being stupid, to the point he doesn't even know where he is. Rumor has it that this fool, Lu Yu, at the age of five, couldn't even write his own name. Only after three years did he manage to write an ordinary set of long fists. He can be said to be an unparalleled rotten wood. If he wasn't the only son of Marquis Yongping, he would have probably starved to death on the streets long ago. If his father had not forcefully brought him to the first level of the post-liminary realm, he probably would not even be able to enter the martial god altar. He cast a disdainful gaze at Lu Yu, ridiculing him one after the other, filling up Lu Yu's ears. As for the officer by Lu Yu's side, he was already stomping his feet in anxiety, continuously urging Lu Yu to kneel down and not miss the timing. Lu Yu turned a deaf ear to all this. Seventeen years have passed. I, the netherworld Dao Lord, have finally completely devoured the soul of the celestial emperor. Shen Ling Long, you never thought of this. You joined forces against me with a hundred other Dao Lords. Not only did I fail to perish alongside the celestial emperor, I even devoured him and brought him back to life. Lu Yu looked at the azure sky that he had never seen before, and a trace of light flashed through his eyes. Lu Yu, you are now in the martial god altar. I'll let you off this time. Don't try to cause trouble, quickly kneel down and worship. The crown prince shouted. Lu Yu raised his head to look at the crown prince and discovered that his entire body was emitting a golden light. Other than the crown prince, several of the young aristocratic children present all had similar golden lights, that golden light seemed to be emitting a faint pressure, causing the surrounding people to look at it with reverence. Lu Yu, stop watching. This was a divine light that could only be acquired by a talented young man who had received the attention of the war god. It was extremely beneficial for one's path of martial arts. If you are greedy, then hurry up and pay your respects to the war god. Let's see if the war god can broaden his horizons and bestow you with a streak of divine light. Someone scoffed, with these words, Everyone looked at Lu Yu with even more mockery than before. No one thought that the Lu family's fool would receive the martial god's attention, just for the young people present, there were more than a hundred under the age of thirty, but less than ten that had obtained the divine light. Those who could obtain divine light were all young talents, and their futures were limitless, the crown prince didn't laugh. But a look of disgust and disdain flashed in his eyes. He waved his hand and said, Lu Yu, Hurry up and go pay your respects. Don't delay the time. No need. Lu Yu glanced at the crown prince, turned around, and prepared to leave, what, worshipping the war god. You don't want this chance that others can't even plead for, the crown prince immediately stood in front of Lu Yu and said in a deep voice, Lu Yu, worshipping the martial god is the most important matter in our Dalyang kingdom. Are you trying to cause trouble? Lu Yu looked at the crown prince with the same calm gaze, no need, it's because there's no need to worship. Why? Because the war god can't accept my kneeling. The moment he said this, an uproar broke out. You prick, what nonsense are you talking about? A military general bellowed angrily. What a bunch of nonsense. He is truly a mad man who doesn't know the limits of heaven and earth. How did Marquis Yongping teach his son? When his majesty returns, I'll definitely impeach him. A few of the scholars were so angry that their beards were trembling, as they flew into a rage. At this time, 
someone suddenly sneered, it can't be that he's afraid of losing his father's face and doesn't dare to go, right? His father, Marquis Yongping, was a martial god genius when he was ten years old. If he gave birth to a son who could not even obtain divine light at the age of seventeen, his face would have truly been on the floor. Lu Yu sighed helplessly and said, you're just a wild god that hasn't been bestowed the title of a god yet, but you're actually treating me as a deity guardian. However, Lu Yu immediately shook his head. Even if it's a real martial god, I've also killed more than one. For me to pay my respects to him is something that the heavens cannot tolerate. Regarding Lu Yu's words, everyone agreed that he was just a fool who spoke nonsense, the crown prince's face was ashen as he looked at Lu Yu, this is the incense from your eternal Ping Marquis mansion. You are the only male disciple in the entire Long Jing city. If you don't pay your respects, then you will lose the face of your eternal Ping mansion. When your father comes back, I want to see how he explains it to the court. There was actually such a thing. Lu Yu frowned and remained silent for a long while before he said, I can pay my respects to him, but it's absolutely impossible for me to kneel down. The crown prince's expression changed as well. However, in his heart, he just wanted this fool to pay his respects and not miss the timing. Thus, the crown prince chose to keep silent. Lu Yu received the incense from the ritual officer and lit it with a fire. After that, Lu Yu walked up to the martial god statue, bowed to it, and stuck the incense into the bronze cauldron. A gust of wind blew the green smoke into the air, causing Lu Yu's figure to become a little blurry. In front of the tall statue, Lu Yu appeared to be extremely small, there was no change, some of the looks of anticipation and curiosity had also dimmed. True. How can a person who can only rely on the achievements of their parents to gain glory and wealth gain the attention of the war god? Some people sneered again and again under countless mocking gazes, Lu Yu turned around and left, however, not long after Lu Yu took his first step, a loud sound came from behind him. Boom. An earth. Shattering sound resonated throughout the world, the sky suddenly glowed with a golden light, but the light that radiated from it was far greater than a miracle. It was so dazzling that it made one dizzy. What's that? Could it be divine light? That's impossible. How could the divine light make such a sound? But before anyone could recover, Lu Yu took a second step, another loud sound rang out, and soon after, the ground began to shake violently, thick cracks began to appear on the surface of the altar before finally spreading to the entire ground. The clear sky suddenly became covered by dark clouds, the cold wind was still blowing. Suddenly, a few thick bolts of lightning shot out from the dark clouds, countless bolts of lightning struck the body of the war god ruthlessly, like the furious roar of a mad dragon. Boom. 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 The martial god statue symbolizing Big Liang Wuda was struck by lightning. The originally clear and cloudless weather was suddenly struck by countless thunderbolts. It was as if they had locked onto the martial god statue, fiercely smashing it down. That I and the time it took to make a cup of tea, the war god statue was already on the verge of collapsing. The two legs of the war god statue were actually bent by heavenly lightning. In the blink of an eye, the bronze statue had knelt down, smoke and dust filled the air, and everyone's faces were pale. Thunder punishment. This is lightning punishment. Could it be the will of heaven? That's impossible. My great young country is flourishing right now, how could such a scene have occurred? As the crowd was panicking, someone noticed that the one kneeling on the ground was exactly where Lu Yu was, could it be? Lu Yu did it, the war god statue, kneeling down to Lu Yu. It must have been a bronze statue forged by an official of the Ministry of Industry who was greedy for money. He actually tricked us for so many years by creating a bronze statue that was out of stock. When we go back, we will definitely impeach that group of workers. No one believed that Lu Yu was the culprit behind all of this. How could a fool like him be able to make the martial god kneel in front of him, impossible, this was simply a fantasy story, absolutely impossible, but the scene in front of him, from a distance, was like a bronze statue of the war god kneeling down to Lu Yu, it was a shocking sight to behold, looking at the chaotic martial god altar, Lu Yu pushed through the crowd and walked out. Lu Yu, where are you going? 
The crown prince shouted. Luu turned around and replied in a calm tone, I haven't returned for 17 years. I want to go home and visit my family. Everyone was surprised for a moment before they burst into laughter. The doubt in their hearts from before vanished like smoke in thin air.it was indeed a coincidence, look, a fool or a fool how old are you this year? You're only 17. Haven't you returned in 17 years? Didn't you just come out of the Yongping Manor this morning? Most likely, he didn't obtain the war god's divine light and didn't have the face to continue standing here. That's why he hid back home. Someone said solemnly. Only the crown prince was looking at Lu Yu's back, his eyes holding a trace of doubt. However, this doubt, accompanied by the surrounding noise, quickly disappeared without a trace. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.